Good morning. This morning was nice and cool out, so I finished the broad fork over the potato bed. And we had big clumps in there, or the grass still, even though I broke it up and got down to the clay and cracked it all. I decided that the hunks were too big with the grass, so I just decided to forego the no-till method a little bit and I just used my little red tiller right there and just broke it up a little bit and now trees is kind of putting a little bit of a grade on it and what we're gonna do is plant some cover crops here where you got a little bit of rye that's gonna go in here maybe a couple other seeds so I don't know if she's gonna do that today or not but I got it ready for her I don't think we're gonna frame this in wood um, this is gonna be the potato patch come the spring we'll mow the cover crop and then we'll um, put the potato starts right on the ground maybe halfway in the ground and cover them in straw okay so that's what it looks like and she probably she's looking for any Bermuda grass or whatever to pull out of there and then over here for the orchard I started getting this part ready so what I do here is I take all the posts and I put them up like this and that'll be the end that's going to go in the ground and what we'll do is we'll take scrap paint whatever we've got stain anything to protect it underground a little bit and we'll go a couple feet up and we'll get those all ready and I got more on this side to do so that's for probably for another day since I'm kind of tired already and then those will go around the perimeter maybe every eight to ten feet and then this wire whatever I have in wire will go on the bottom and then we'll put extensions on these because these aren't going to be tall enough because um, you really want to get up there seven or eight feet for deer so we'll put some probably two by four extensions on them and then we'll hang something lighter on the top. I don't think we need something that heavy, but we'll see. It's our first year trying to protect from the deer. I may have a problem with that, but we'll see. She's still over there going. My arms are a little tired now after broad forking that and tilling. So over here, <clears throat> these are my little tomato guys. They st I started them from seed. They got flowers on them, I don't know. It's about 50 last night. So, carrots are in that bed and they're having trouble. It's the second time we planted them. And she's just laying out for me where the next bed's gonna go. It never ends. So I'm gonna have to move these poles, put the fence out some more, and she'll probably put another one over here. I'll take a you didn't open the can you open the cabbage for me so I can take a look? I'll show you. We'll take a little broccoli peek. Cauliflower. Broccoli and cauliflower, not, not cabbage. <laughs> I love to say cabbage, I guess. So what are these again coming up here? What were these little guys? Spinach, which is not happy. Shard. Lettuce is happy. Yeah, it's we're having trouble. Rummy. We didn't do anything here yet, right? And which ones did you put in here? Are these the beets? Beets? Oh, oh, oh. We're having a little trouble here. Well, the wind, you can see it's really windy today. You can see we got some green mossy stuff growing on top of the dirt. So we're trying to figure that out, give it a little more sun. We must might have been shading it too much. Yeah. Uh, I, I gotta take this off because it's beating the beets up. There's my little there's beets. I love the, the greens on the beets. So, we'll have some of that this fall. Wow, I can see they're like laying on the ground. Yeah. Jeez. Alright, so we're going to get a look at the cauliflower and the broccoli. Now that that, and that's the, this progress has gotten taller and taller. Here comes the big reveal. Da, 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 da. I have to keep it covered because the 
yellow butterflies. Oh yeah, the yellow butterflies. Will, on the, they'll get in there on the them. Flower heads will do damage. So these were planted from seed. Yeah, we planted these from seed, and then you got the cutworm cups around the bottom, and then the straws in there to help it stay wet. Looks the soil looks wet. Yeah. So we're going to get about, I don't know, 10 cauliflower out of there. Cauliflower is what, like $3 a head in the store. So that bed's worth about 30 bucks. Not a whole lot, but who knows, next year cauliflower could be $5. So then it would be worth 50 bucks. <laughs> but I think we need more cauliflower than that. But we have to learn a little bit about crop rotation. And we're still learning like how to freeze and can stuff. Um, we got a freezer in the pole barn. And we're freezing the string beans now because she's still getting string beans every day. Although they're they're kind of turning a little. The leaves do that. The leaves will look ugly, but the plant will still produce. You know, this this plant was kind of weird. It produced mostly at the top, which although we, we saw flowers down here coming out. There's more flowers. So we're still going to have string beans for a while. And this is all organic. And then she puts the marigolds in here, which they didn't flower. That's kind of weird. So we had trouble with the flowering marigolds. You can see there's still more flowers in there. So there's string beans. She picked last night, so there's plenty of them. And then this is our asparagus. So anyhow, we're ready to... We're ready to plant the cover crop. I'm going to sign off now. It's Charlie and Teresa. Thank you for watching.